Hey guys, so I was thinking one day about how I do my videos in a way where like I just record straight through, talk about topics, but I don't edit anything. And it's not a vlog because I'm talking about stuff that is important. And I thought, wow, is this like something that's new? What should I call it for me? So I came up with the term Lewising. And here's my definition for Lewising. Lewising is doing a vlog style topic on something where someone records straight through everything and doesn't edit. So like you just, it's like uh, improv comedy in a way where you don't have uh, a script or anything or anything, you just blow right through it. And that's how I like to do my videos in a Lewising style way. So I'm gonna call it the Lewis format. So anyway, today, I decided to talk about lonerisms. Do you know what lonerisms are? No, I'll explain to you. Lonerisms are the comparing of one's life to another person's life who's in a happy relationship. Here's what I mean. I'm not in a relationship. But let's just say Frank is. I'm going to constantly compare my life to his and... Sally's relationship. So I'm going to compare my life and see what I can take from Frank and Sally's relationship and use it for me. That's a lonerism in my mind. And these only happen to people who are loners because people who are in relationships don't have any need for that. <laughs> they don't. I don't lonerism. I don't believe in lonerisms. I believe in... Have you, have you ever heard of uh, Gary Lightbody? The guy of Snow Patrol who sang in the last the last time with Taylor Swift, one of my favorite songs. No? Look him up. That's how I feel. He says he feels, quote, rubbish with girls. And that's how I feel. So, yeah. And, um, it's weird because, um, I always see other people in relationships and it's like, it doesn't make me feel bad. It makes me feel lonely, but it doesn't make me feel bad. They're like, oh, I'm never gonna find anyone. I'm gonna end up like Taylor Swift writing songs about all my ex-girlfriends. Uh-uh, no. Um, I think that I don't. I never believed in lonerisms because I never had a need for it. Like I was just, I was too young to ever understand. Like I wasn't asexual when I was young. Like I didn't have any attraction. I just, I didn't want any. <laughs> like I was like. I don't want any attraction. I want to keep my life quiet and all that. When I was young, at least. And, um, that's kind of how it was. And no one ever came onto me. I never came onto anyone else. That's how I saw it. And that's how I liked it. And now I'm just like, you know, it might be nice to spend some time with another person of the opposite gender. Kind of get their point of view on all of it. And just, like, be close friends. And I have a person like that, but not in a relationship. Because she, she has a boyfriend. And, um... I never really saw the need for it, just like I said, because I wasn't asexual as a kid, I was just I never wanted attention, or never wanted a person, or never wanted anyone else. I don't think anyone wanted me. And it just grew into a state of unpopularity, probably because of that. So, yeah, I'm sorry I don't have a stand for this, and I'm not at my house, like I said. If you if I never post another video, then I'm not at my house. If you check my Twitter. We don't have any internet out here, so... Sorry. Um, back to it, though. I think that... Even celebrities adopt lonerisms. Taylor Swift did it with Katy Perry and John Mayer. I think that, at least, at least... That's the only one I can really think of, because Taylor Swift's the only one who really applies lonerisms to her life. Um... Um... <clears throat> I uh, also think that with people like me where we just don't have anyone else to talk to and we express it all on YouTube, it's really, um, people don't really notice you because you have small channels, so you lonerism that. Here, let me explain. Say, my small, my channel is pretty small, but I make a fair amount of videos. I don't take a lot of stuff from other channels to make in mine. Because that's not going to work. That's a lonerism. It's a YouTubeism, but I'm calling it a lonerism because your channel's alone. So, I don't lonerism on that. I, I think a lot of other YouTubers try to lonerism 
with editing, but remember, I Lewis format, so. Yeah. Um, it's... I have no problem with loner, with people who lonerism. I think that if, if you think that you take people's other uh, evidence of past relationships at work, and you use it, I think that's a, way, a great way to experiment. But you just can't do it with everyone. You have to go out and delve for yourself. You can't... Um, you can't just adopt the same thing with everyone else, because not everyone's the same. I mean, take Brad Pitt and Ryan Gosling. I don't know why I compared them, but you get the point. So, again, I see it as that, and I have no problem with people who lonerism. I don't lonerism. Um, and, yeah. So... Uh, I was in, I'm on vacation right now, in, uh, in a place, go ahead, look at this. A little barn and all that out here, and it's really, um, barren for a, a long amount of time. So, um, yeah, today's video was about lonerisms, sponsored by me! So, um... You guys know what to do. In order, okay? Subscribe, favorite, like, share, comment, and if you like how I do the format of my videos, uh, put a video response, I think. I don't know how to do that, but make a video response to mine doing the Lewis, Lewis format or Lewising. So, you guys know what to do. This video is about lonerisms. I will see you next time.